Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to use Facebook AI Similarity Search Library or short for Face for large scale face recognition task. But before we begin, please like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Please make comments in this video. Thank you for your all support in advance. Facebook has billions of users and it might index hundred billions of images but still when you add a new image it can take you in just milliseconds even if the adder is not your direct connection this can be done with the algorithm behind face it's a proximate nearest neighbor instead of knn or k nearest neighbor a proximate nearest neighbor performs vector search in much faster and today we are going to create a facial database consists of the millions of facial images thereafter we are going to search an identity in this large scale database and we are going to see we are going to get results in milliseconds even though today we are going to focus on a use case depending on facial recognition this can be adapted into any vector search problem such as similar image search or natural language processing studies we have implemented same large scale face recognition use case with spotify annoy and elastic search in this channel as a facial data set we are going to use the unit test items of the the deepface project it has tens of facial images and we are going to create some synthetic data into our database as a prerequisite we are going to install the face package from pypy and all you need is to run pip install face dash cpu command this is going to install the package itself and its dependencies firstly i'm going to import operating system module thereafter call at walk function and test the unit test items folder that's deep face tests and data set and this is going to return root directories files thereafter files is a list i'm going to build a for loop for file and files and let's print each file in that folder then i'm going to exclude non-image files that's why here i'm going to add a if condition and check is there a .jpg available in the file name finally exec image path is going to be root and file name once you have the exec image path thereafter we are able to create embeddings so i'm going to import deep face library from deep face Import the face. Then I'm going to call deep face dot represent function, and image path is going to be exact image. Model name is going to be FaceNet, and detector backend is going to be NTCNN for this experiment, and it's going to return objects. The length of the objects is going to be the number of faces in this image so if this image has more than one faces thereafter this returns many items in the objects here i'm going to build a for loop for object in objects and i need the embedding key for the current object when i get its embedding i'm going to store them in representations list and let's append this embedding into representations list but i'm going to also append the file name finally let's deactivate this printing line once this block is performed i'm going to have 71 different embeddings and i'm going to create synthetic data thereafter i'm going to have millions of vector representations import random module first thereafter i'm going to build a for loop for i uh, in branch from current number of my embeddings to 1 million okay for this iteration is going to be synthetic underscore i dot jpeg and vector is going to be i'm going to call random dot goes and this is going to create a value between minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 for z in range 128 this is the number of dimensions facenet model created we can see this like that let's get the zero index value 
and get at one index value this returns the embeddings and let's find out the number of dimensions that's 128 that's why i'm going to create 128 dimension values randomly now i'm going to append this k and vector into our representations list representations dot append this k and vector after synthetic data operation is performed i'm going to have one million different vectors now i'm going to store each vector into my face instance now i'm going to import the face library after face library is imported i'm going to initialize the face index index is equal to face dot index flat l2 and as an input argument i'm going to pass the number of dimensions which was 128 and this is going to perform euclidean distance thereafter i'm going to call index dot add and here i'm going to pass the list of my embeddings but representation this stores also image names that's why i'm going to create embeddings list here and for k and value in representations i'm going to append the value the second value into the embeddings now i'm able to add embeddings into my face index this line throws an exception because i passed a list instead of add command expects a numpy array that's why i'm going to import numpy module here and here i'm going to call numpy.array and pass embeddings as input and also i'm going to set as data type it's going to be float one million vectors are stored in my face instance now i'm going to search an identity in this database that's why i'm going to read a target image target path is going to be target dash back in my current directory and this is my target image this image is not available in my unit test items of the face that's why i'm going to find identity of angelina julie in this experiment here i'm going to call the face that represent and image path is going to be target path and i'm going to use the same configuration here same model and same detector backend and I know this is going to return a list, but my image has just one face. That's why I'm able to access at zero index value. Thereafter, I'm going to get at embedding k, and this is going to be my target embedding. Here, let's check the type of my target embedding. It's list, and this is its content. Similar to this block, I'm going to convert it to numpy array now target embedding is a numpy array and it has 128 dimensions but it's a vector instead of this i'm going to convert this to two dimensional vector that's why i'm going to call numpy dot expand dimensions and here i'm going to pass target embedding expand at zero index dimension and assign this to target embedding itself again now it's going to be a two dimensional matrix actually we expand at one dimension dummy now i have the embedding of the target image and i also store one million vectors into my face instance this means i'm able to apply search similar to knn algorithm i'm going to define a k value and in my search i'm going to look for three closest neighbors in my database i'm going to call index.search and i'm going to pass target embedding as first argument and k value as second argument this line is going to return distance values and neighbor values also let's import time module because i wonder how much this line is going to be taken before calling search command i'm going to set variable to current timestamp thereafter I'm going to set talk variable in the current timestamp and difference between talk and think. I'm going to have the processing time and it's performed very fast. Let's see talk minus tick 0 0.07 seconds. 
this is very challenging time because I search an identity in 1 million vectors and that is taken in milliseconds. Now let's see neighbors values which it turns a list consists of three items and that's coming from k and it says that the closest vector to target embedding as index 45. What was it? Remember that I stored k values and representations list and let's check at 45 index value and at image 6 dot jpeg i'm not interested in the embedding right now that's why i get at 0 index value let's find what is image 6 dot jpeg that's a portrait of angina julie similarly the second closest vector is index 41 as image 5 dot jpeg this is a portrait of angina julie as well and finally let's find the 45 index value which it turns image 7 dot jpeg and this is a portrait of angina julie as well to sum up this is my target image and the closest vector for that target image is image 6 dot jpeg let's open it here i found this image on the right in my facial database and please remember that my facial database consists of 1 million images and it says that closest one for the image on the left hand side is the right hand side but the challenging thing is i'm able to find it in just milliseconds even though my database consists of 1 million images so in this video we have used facebook ai similar to search or shortly face library to be able to search a vector among millions and that performing time is challenging we can find a vector just in milliseconds thank you all for watching and see you next time